Let's just change the name real quick. We are playing Morrowind. Done. And let's just get into it. Load game. I did create a character matching our other character. I just didn't go very far beyond making sure that everything was working. Because, you know, I want to make sure that it is working. But there is one big change that I should be able to show you right from here to the game. Once we get loaded in. Apparently we lock our dogs out in all day. And they're lucky if we let them in and we don't take care of our cat. According to the neighbors across the street that decide to make a dumb false report. Nice. <laughs> How would they know? Like, okay, the dog thing I can understand. Like, obviously, they would be able to see if you lock your dogs out all day or whatever. But how would they ever know if you're taking care of your cat or not? Like, how would that... How would they ever see that? That's the part that confuses me. Um, oh, yeah, no. So, first thing you might notice is everything should look... Just a little bit more crisp, a little bit less muddy than last time. Uh, because the textures, like I said, have just been upscaled uh, for the game. But other than that, it should look basically the same world-wise. What I, the, the new thing, right? This is the map that we had before. This one island, right? All of this is new landmass <laughs> that has been added to the game. There is more landmass added to the game, I'm pretty sure, than what was in the base game. <laughs> Silence! What's up, my guy? Hydrate, you got it. Also, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. I do appreciate that. If there's a PS2 game, or any game, really, that you want to vote on for us to play, complete, or collect, let me know. You get five points to go with your sub, dude. I appreciate you. And also, congrats on the new computer, my guy. I saw that. I don't know if you saw my reply. I saw it a little late, but uh, it looks really cool. I hope it works well for you, my guy. Um, but yeah, so Open Tamriel, it's a mod that has been being worked on for a long time. And uh, they are just adding as much of the, the Elder Scrolls map as they possibly can. Like, it's kind of insane, honestly. Um, including parts of Skyrim. So it should be possible... For us to go visit Skyrim if we want to. Which I think is pretty cool. Uh, okay, so some of the signs might be a little bit broken. But you can see that at least most of them... There we go. We can actually read the signs now. Oh, one other cool thing. Uh, the mod that I added. I need to find like a herb or something that we can pick out in the world. Because uh, I don't know if you remember, but before... It was really annoying. We would pick something. Here we go. Like a mushroom. And it would open up a little sub-menu. And we'd have to click for the item or whatever. Now it just fucking picks the item. The item disappears. It's amazing. I love it. It's honestly so good. <laughs> there were other mods I considered adding. Like I did see one for... Uh, uh, what's it called? For, for like Fallout 4 style inventory stuff and whatnot. I also saw mods for like that, but I decided I didn't want to change the game too, too much. Like, Willow, which I'm assuming is your cat, wanted out for a little in the yard, and she's having her allergic reaction, so she lost some fur. It's a regular occurrence. We've been to the vet. She's not in pain or nothing. Just lose some fur. Looks rough for a little while, then gets extra bass and grows it back. Oh, animals are rough. We uh, have a vet appointment for our cat, for Gary. He, uh, he has a hematoma on his ear. We mentioned that before, I believe. Um, it's gotten worse, though. His ear is starting, like, the inside of his ear is starting to look pretty gross. Um, because, like, it's so swollen up, it's just not getting any airflow or anything like that. And, uh, so, yeah, we, we made a vet appointment. Thankfully, we found a vet that, as long as they do good in this instant, will probably be our regular vet in the future. Because they're asking for about half as much as what the other vet was asking. And, uh, they have some pretty decent reviews and stuff. But anyways, point is, we're going to go get it drained and whatnot. It's costly, and uh, Noodle and I <laughs> already kind of broke, to be honest. But it is what it is, man. We need the the poor guy. He needs, he needs some help. He needs to get his ear taken care of because, yeah, we feel bad for him, honestly. Like, he doesn't seem to be pain, in pain or anything, but his ear is just begging to get infected with the way it is, right? And, uh, yeah, so... 
And I'm sure he's not comfortable. Even if he doesn't seem to be in pain, I'm sure he's not comfortable. So, yeah. It's now leaking. Yeah, it's starting to leak a little bit. He's probably been scratching at it every now and then. And yeah, gross. Uh, but on that note, actually, I did mean to tell you guys. Um, I'm going to finish the Dragon Guard, putting a dollar in every time I stream thing for that. But just for a little while, not permanently, but for a little while, I think I'm going to have to pause my own dollar every stream going into the ps2 fund we have enough ps2 games for quite a while considering we usually do like two to four a week right so we have enough for for a fair while and honestly i just need to get my personal finances kind of in order um not even counting like the shared finances between noodle and i uh, so I'm just gonna save some money for a little bit obviously if anybody does decide to vote never feel like you a vote donate never feel like anybody has to but if anybody decides to that money of course will still 100% go toward the ps2 game collection but um yeah i'm gonna pause putting my own money into it for for just a little while while some things get straightened out cats are very good at hiding pain i mean that could could be true as well like I, like i said i'm sure at the very least he's uncomfortable either way and that's enough for me to want to get it taken care of um, but because of the money situation, we were like, oh, let's wait and see if it takes care of itself. Well, it's not taking care of itself. It's getting worse. And yeah, he needs, he needs some help. Anyways, though, before we uh, get too far into this here, do we want to, cause we are, this is a wondrous encounter. What? we're back at where we started, right? Do we want to go like walk to to Vardenfell or wherever it was that we were supposed to be going like we were originally trying to I think we stopped the last stream in Balmora or do we want to take the silk strider there uh because I paid a little bit more attention this time whenever I was going through the very beginning here and they mentioned that while you can walk there if you want it's they recommend in game that you just take the silk strider to to wherever it was we were trying to go exactly. So what's your guys' opinion on that? Dog Warden came and talked to Sierra while you were at work and was telling you to have a good idea of which one it was that called. So the second time they tried to cause you issues, you have no idea who they are or why they have continuing beef with you. Some people are ridiculous when it comes to animals, man. And, like, it's nice that they're looking out for animals and stuff because there are definitely neglected animals out there. Um, but, yeah, a lot of times it's just ridiculous like uh certain breeds of dogs for instance like being outside in the cold but there are definitely people that i know of that if they see any dog outside in the winter they're calling the cops immediately and it's like dude if i have a husky or something i don't have any dogs to be clear and all my animals are inside animals but if you have like a husky or something they're made to be outside in the cold <laughs> like obviously don't leave them out there forever um but like it's fine if they're out there for a couple hours. They're not going to freeze to death. They enjoy it. They're literally made for it. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Thank you for finding it. Those guards better look out. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, anything in town here? Not much. Ariel's trade house, the census and excise office, that's the Coast Guard too, and a lighthouse. And that's it. Silk Strider services go to Vivek, Balmora, Ganesis, and Saran. The road goes north past Pelaga to Balmora and east to Vivek and southeast to Ebonheart. Wait, where are we supposed to be going again? Journal. Options. Quests. Port. Oh, Balmora is where we are trying to go. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so we can either walk up to Balmora or we can take the Silt Strider. Which one do we want to do? Which is stupid because Huskies, Mammoots, the Unions. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce any of that stuff. <laughs> they love being out in the snow in their first bill for it. Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly. Like, literally made for that kind of stuff. So, like I said, while, while I feel like their heart is in the right place a lot of times, uh, it's also kind of ridiculous. Like, can definitely take things too far. I don't know how stealing works exactly in, in Morrowind. So, stream the Barbarian Weenie. <laughs> You're new to Sa Sadia Neen. 
and you'd like some help finding your way around. Very sensible. Go ahead, ask away. Looking for services, some specific place, someone in particular, or just need a little advice? Whatever it is, I'd be happy to help. Uh, tell me your little secret. What are the most dangerous places in Morrowind? Well, probably the Ash Vampire Citadels inside the Ghost Fence on Red Mountain. Yeah, yeah, that seems legit, dude. Sounds pretty dangerous. But outside the ghost fence, I guess the Daedric ruins would be the worst. They're all over the place and full of bad Daedra and the crazy folks who summon them. I hear vampires are pretty bad too, but I've never seen any personally. And the Dwemer sites are pretty bad too. Alright, lots of bad stuff. What is this Red Mountain though? Red Mountain is the great volcano in the center of Vardenfell Island. The crater of Red Mountain is called the Dag Dagath Ur region, where Dagath Ur and his evil servants dwell. The tribunal built the ghost fence around Red Mo Mountain to imprison Dagath Ur and his servants, and to protect Morrowind from the blight storms that issue from Dagath Ur's crater. Hmm. So, who is Dagath Ur exactly? Dagath Ur is the evil immortal enemy of the Tribunal Temple Cult. The temple holds Dagath Ur and his hosts accountable for all the evils that beset the Dunmer and Morrowind. Dagath Ur dwells in fiery caverns beneath Red Mountain, served by his kin called Ash Vampires and by legions of deformed monsters. Okay, very cool, very cool. <laughs> what about Dunmer? What are the Dunmer like? We are the dark-skinned, red-eyed elven people of Morrowind. The Westerners call us Dark Elves, but we prefer to call ourselves Dunmer. Cool. Uh, and what about you, my good sir? I am a Thavera Vedrano, commoner. Okay. Good to know, I suppose. Uh, well, sir, it was good talking to you. What else is in the lighthouse? Anything cool? The Wraith Wedding Dowry. That is a very expensive book. I'm assuming... Okay, there's a symbol down in the corner there. I don't know what it means, though. Does that mean that we can be seen or we can't be seen? I'm assuming that means we can't be seen right now, right? Because if we go down here where we can definitely be seen, it disappears. Yeah, okay. So that's... I think that means we can't be seen. So we're probably... Safe to look at the book. Oh, you gain knowledge from this book. Your unarmored skill increased to six. Very cool. The poets are right. There is something life-changing about being in love. That is a long book. I don't feel like reading it. If anybody does want to read it, you're more than welcome <laughs> to pause the screen on any of these pages. I do appreciate all of the long ass books in Morwen, Skyrim, Oblivion, etc. But uh yeah, no, I'm not taking the time for for reading all that, man. Oh, it goes up farther. That's just empty up here. Okay, uh Ow. There we go. We're fine. They always go in when Sierra and the kids come out. They give you dirty looks all the time. You ain't even talk to these people. Whatever, dude. Like, honestly, there's a reason why I don't talk to any of my neighbors or anything. Honestly, like, I feel like neighbors are just more trouble than they're worth. <laughs> just associating with people in real life is just more trouble than it's worth. Uh, I am Indrael of Rathrian, commoner. You guys have some fancy ass names, and uh, I can't say them. <laughs> None of you have any fancy text. Um. Problem. I will listen, but make it quick. Uh. Oh, uh, the, the, the door. The door's kind of gone. <laughs> There's no fast travel in this game, and technically I think we're falling. Thankfully, we haven't really done anything. <laughs> but good to know, in the future, it might be smart to quick save before we enter buildings. Is it just that building that's broken, or... 
I mean, I guess that's the only place I've written. No, we went in the lighthouse. The lighthouse was fine. I'm going to try going in that room again just to see, like, if it's just a problem with that room or if it's a, a problem, like, in general. Like, if we just got unlucky or whatever. Oh, that's going to bother me. That's not centered now, actually. Hold on. Because, like, yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, center horizontally. There we go. And I don't know. We can go. We can go over here ish. Maybe be a little smaller, too. We don't need to be that big. Uh, you know what? Over here is probably a good place. Yeah. That looks good enough. Okay, return to game. It doesn't seem like anyone has any opinion on whether we should take the show Strider or whether we should run over to uh, Balmura. So I think we're just going to end up running. But I do want to explore this town a bit more, though, first. Because I'm sure there's some more quests and things around here that uh, we can collect. Which should be good. One other thing we need to do that I just remembered. We need to equip... You know what? Let's equip this tower key. I want to try and open... There was that chest in the, uh, in the lighthouse that required a locking whatever of like 25. Well, this spell apparently has an effect up to 50 points. So, I mean, I don't 100% know how things work in this game, but I'm assuming if it takes a... If it's a lock of level 25 or whatever, and we have a, a spell of 50 points, then I'm thinking maybe that'll be good enough to to get us in. Might as well kill these mud crabs real quick, too. Ow. Try to, that is. Get wrecked. We can swim, right? I'm assuming we can, yeah. Okay. Quick save. Yep. That room is broken. I'm assuming one of the mods caused that to happen. Um, Kind of annoying, but... Doesn't seem like it's an important room, though. Those are both locked. You're not someone important, are you? My time is precious, so make it quick. Secret. Someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law if you attack. I mean, that's fair. Specific place. No, no. You're a commoner, you do whatever needs doing. Fine. Latest rumors. Local tax collector, Processus of Vitellius is missing. No surprise, he wasn't well liked around here. I mean, fair. I still don't know if that's good enough to, you know, make someone go missing and all, but I get it. Looks like you just need to build more one from the ground up with survival included. I think that's probably a little drastic. One broken room isn't that big of a deal, as long as it doesn't become a common theme. And I can just try to remember to, you know, quick save before I go indoors, just in case. I just want to, like, quickly... How did we... Oh. Hmm. I was trying to get all that information about, like, the Dunmer and stuff again, but... Oh, it did unlock it. You have nothing worth taking, really. 
I mean, I'll take the five gold, I guess, because, yeah, but... Cool, so that is how the, the spell works, though. Is that how all lo lockpicking works in this game, I wonder, or...? Take this, because it's worth a lot. Take the bread, because we might be hungry. Does it show us anywhere how hungry we are? Fatigue, clash, right? Da, 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 da. Doesn't seem to, does it? Hmm. I'm assuming we'll just get messages every now and then. The processing range difficulty. Subtitles crosshairs. Ah, I'm, uh, I'm sure it's fine. Let's, uh, can we get down maybe without hurting ourselves as much? Like, maybe some, some hardcore parkour. Let's go. Let's go, dude. They ain't got shit on me. Wow, the frame rate kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, what is all that? Okay. That was way more detail than I thought it was going to give. <laughs> My time is precious, so make it quick. Hush. Any time now. Fargoth, uh, we already talked to you this about everything. This is locked. Locked. Wait, who are you? Bodenius Nucius House. Hmm. Out of Fire's House? I don't know who you are. Damn it, why do I keep pressing F to open doors? Welcome to Sedia Nadine, stranger. Is there some specific place you're looking for? No, but what's your little secret? Talk to everyone, talk is cheap, ask questions. You don't ask, you never learn. Too true. Got any advice? Your bitter green, green outlander might as well wear a sign, new in town. Word of advice? Buy a little goodwill. Lose a few drakes, gain a friend. Folks will loosen up if you spread a little of the emperor's gold around. I don't fully understand the point of, like, the whole persuasion thing. I wonder, just out of curiosity, if we were to eat, say, a piece of bread. I was hoping we get, like, the notification or something. Like, about our status? Hello, Stream the Barbarian Weenie. I'm a Tovisi Othralin. This is Sedia Neen, swamp fever capital of the world. I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. I can tell you where the services are. There aren't many, and I can tell you the latest rumors. Unless you've already heard them. Uh... Latest rumors? My cousin claimed he saw a city in the water near... Nar Mok. He's a drunkard, though, and spends too much time in the sun. <laughs> oh, that's actually been there for a little while. Not sure why exactly, but yeah, Bo got a second little friend a while back. You're thinking of traveling up country near Shagorad, or out Molag Murway, or inside the ghost fence, you need to know about Corpus. It's a disease that turns normal creatures into beasts, turns men into twisted mad lumps of flesh, superhumanly strong and full of hatred. You get Corpus from fighting with diseased creatures. It's hard to get Corpus, but harder to get rid of it. In fact, I hear there is no cure. Let's hope we don't get that then. I'll be looking for better armor and a decent weapon. Bailiffs don't mind at all if you knock them over the head to take their stuff. Wait. Oh, outlaws. Okay, sure. Speak quickly, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Away. Welcome. Care to talk? A uh, little advice. Do you got any? You can practice your skills. Cool. Financial troubles. Okay. So we might be able to... You there. You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. Uh, okay. What do you got in mind? That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money that locals pay us for 
protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher Fargoth. He's come up light the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like to find Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got somewhere in town, just not sure where yet. We've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold if you can. I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Uh, sure. <laughs> I feel like it's not really, you know, money you should be receiving, but whatever. Breathing? We look like an old man still. <laughs> an old man with a new paint job. I like it. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That would give you a nice view of all said Janine. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Okay. Were you looking to join the Imperial Legion? All the garrisons are presently at full strength, except perhaps the Death Shed Legion at Fort Darius in the West Gash near the village of Nisus. If you're interested, you'll have to talk to General Darius there. Don't stand hmm. about. I don't know if I really want to do that. We are gooey and we're happy about that? What? <laughs> we're gooey? I don't see the gooey. Chocobo, what's up, my guy? What say you? Raflod the Braggart. Tell me about the Silt Strider. Silt Striders carry passenger and cargo between sediments on Vardenfell. Fares depend on distance to be traveled. Silt Striders are giant insects. A compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell. That sounds cruel. The driver directs the beast by directly manipulating exposed organs and tissues. Also, sounds... Cruel. Uh, so try to travel between Aldrun, Balmora, Sejanin, Saran, Inesis, Molag, Mar, Margon, and North Landing near Vivek. Tell me more about Vardenfell. Except for the settled southwest, Vardenfell is covered by hostile desert wastes, arid grasslands, and volcanic badlands, and thinly populated by the nomadic Ashlander tribes. Hmm. Tell me about the Inner Sea. The waters enclosed between mainland Morwen and Vardenfell. Islands are called the Inner Sea. Uh huh. Morwen is the northeastmost province. Okay. Vardenfell is this. The Inner Sea is that. Okay. What do you do? You're a scout. I know places, people, plants, paths, winds, and weather. I serve as guide for travelers and traders or work as advance guards and pathfinder for expedition. I know the geography of Vardenfell and the various geographic regions. My best defense is stealth, sneaking past trouble, but I can fight bow or blade in various armor styles when the job requires it. Daedra, you know what they are, right? Well, Daedric shrines are where Daedra cults, worship Daedra, bad people summon, bad Daedra. Some of the dialogue in this game is a little iffy. God damn it. Not gooey, and I'm happy. Oh, not gooey. Okay. I got you now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. Don't steal from a merchant and try to sell it to him. Makes sense. Uh, I should visit the House of Earthly Delights in Saran. Okay. Tell me about the Bitter Coast. The Smuggler's Coast. Hidden coves and islands are handy for smugglers. Okay. The Shigarad. Dagon Fell is the only settlement reached by ship services. All other island-island -island transport must be provided by the traveler. Okay. Cool stuff. Hello, you. Do you have anything cool? You're a bard. Very cool. Do you have any advice? You can read, can't you? Nope. Uh. <laughs> and you? Your battle mage, though arrayed as a western knight with heavy armor, axes, and long blades, my primary training is in the College of Alteration, the College of Destruction, and the College of Conjuration. To round out my education, I have mastered enchantments and alchemy. Potions made through alchemy or purchased from alchemists grant me the magics of the restoration, mysticism, and illusion colleges. Can there be more terrible master of the science of war than a battle mage? I think not. It's actually pretty cool. Uh... Do, 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 do. Some fool lost the mentor's ring in a tomb along the bitter coast. Hmm. Okay. Let's hear it. Go ahead, you're not interrupting anything. I'm alone, a Lone scout. You need directions? I would like to get to Balmora, I guess. Uh. Distant scat. 
of House Lalu and the largest settlement on Vardenfell after Vivek City. Good roads lead north from here to Balmora, passing through Fort Pelagiad and Pelagiad Village. <laughs> from Balmora, roads lead north to Aldrune through the town of Caldera. Maybe I'd better write down the directions of Balmora for you. It's a long walk and a little confusing. Thank you for that. You can go ahead and tell me about all this other stuff too. Dare is a recently charted imperial town. Evanhard is south on the road from Pel Pelagiad. Okay, I'm assuming you marked that stuff on my map as well. Six administrative districts. Provinces of Morwen consist of six administrative districts. They are the... I'm not even going to try to say these. Each is ruled over by an imperial duke and holds at least one major Dunmer city. Although not strictly divided into geographic regions, each tend to have its own distinctive terrain. Uh, cool. Um, You have too much text so for me to want to read want? it all. I want nothing. Goodbye. You were floating. Speak, traveler. Didn't mean to pull a knife on you. I apologize. We talked to you before? You guys have such fancy names, I can't keep track of who I've talked to or not. If it gives you the option to name the second companion, it's Exmerelda, okay? Don't forget. You'll have to remember that, but yes, I'm fine with that. Anytime now. I haven't seen your orc face before. Would you like a little advice or are you looking for someone in particular? Advice? You can take care of yourself, then why don't you do something about the smugglers in Adamastra's cave? It's right over there near the, near the silt strider board. If these guards look at them, just As sitting around and not doing a damn thing. Very cool, well, I guess. Hey, thank you for the five bits, love. Can't go in your house. Can go in your house, maybe. Hey, we didn't instantly fall through the floor! <laughs> Oh, da -da -da -da. Me, I can afford it, so I buy my bed and board here. But there's no harm in sleeping rough and eating what you can find. Anywhere outside of town, you can just lay down and take your rest, provided there ain't no thieves or kagoody around. But the guards don't like you sleeping in the streets. It annoys the gentry. Buy from merchants and traders who like you. You get better prices. That's fair and makes sense. I thought... That there was supposed to be someone in town here that gave us a quest related to going to the Tamriel mainland. This is the seaport village of Sejanine, outlander in the Bitter Coast region. I'm a caravaner and I manage the Silk Strider port here. Tell me your destination. Um, what is Vodnius Nucius? He steers business my way, and I do him a little favor now and then. Poor fellow, I don't think he's happy here on Vardenfell. Oh, okay. Uh, what destinations do you have? Okay. I guess we just click the travel button. Hey, there we go. I'm broke. We could actually afford to take a ride. It's not a bad idea, man. I am kind of tempted to take a ride. I'm not going to lie. It's an interesting form of travel, Silk Strider. Broke, that's move right. Okay, let's quick save. I just want to take a look at something real quick. Because I could have sworn that... Tamriel, we built. Do, 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 do. Uh... I could have swore there was supposed to be a quest here somewhere, but I guess that one I, I don't really care about that much. And drinking uh, more one. Eating, drinking mods. Uh, what was the name of the damn mods? Water and thirst. Water and thirst. Morrowind. There we go. 
Does it say anything about, like, is there a way? Okay, this mod requires you to periodically drink water or suffer ill effects. Da, 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 da. Purchase a water flask and a water jug. That's right. Do we have those things? Because if we do, then presumably it's still working. Water flask, water catcher. Okay, yeah, so it is, I believe, working. Now, there was one thing we needed to do for the food one, and I don't know if that lasts in between set, enable, hunger, do one, I think, is what it was. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, close that. <laughs> Hold on, I just want to make sure. Uh, da, da, cooking and eating. Uh, mod features and details. Custom icon. Blah, 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 blah. Well-fed bonus. Hunger module. How do you activate it? Enable hunger. Yeah, is that what I put in, or did I put in something else? Set. Enable. Hunger. One. The hunger should be working either way now. If there is anything I can do, I am All right, well, I guess there's nothing else for us to really do here, man. So I thought there was supposed to be a quest giver as part of, like, the Tamriel rebuild or one of those mods. But, um... But maybe not. Oh, that's weird. It's locked, but it's not showing that it's, like, bad if we open it. Charlotte said she wants to come bite your fingers. I said no. <laughs> I don't want Charlotte to come bite my fingers. Quests. Mm. I mean, I'm tempted to try this, but I am worried about us dying. She didn't think I was happy here. Right, that's me. If you decide to take the short tell him I sent you. Okay, so wait, maybe we should go talk to him actually. Who yeah. was it? God, these people with their Can fancy ass so names. Go ahead, was it you? Stranger. It was you. Hi, you. Not happy here. In fact, no, I'm not. If I had a hundred drakes, I'd be on the next boat to Narcissus. Came here to make my fortune, and all I've got is this cursed ring. Say, would you give me a hundred drakes for it? The ring itself is worth more than that. But the enchantment is cursed, and no one will buy it from me. It has a nifty little enchantment that fortifies your running. Problem is, it sucks the blood out of you every time you use it. Please, you'll be doing me a real favor. I would, but I don't have a hundred drakes. Okay. Well, we tried to help you, my guy. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. We broke, boys. You have something to say. Are we far enough outside of town to take a nap? Resting here is illegal. No. There we go. Rest for one hour so we can get a save in. Where was that cave? So wasn't that another one of our quests? Was to like clear out one of the caves or something? Huh. I remember uh the, I remember the lady saying something about it. She said it was near the Silt Strider port, actually, so maybe it was this way. We're probably gonna fucking die, but I'm gonna try. Nonetheless. That looked like something on the side of the rock. It's not, but it looked like something. Hello? I heard voices. Maybe it was just the the person up there that controls the Silt Strider. Ah, uh, I see a cave though. Let's go in the cave. Can't believe it's fucking one o'clock already, my guys. Are you... 
You are not friendly. Let's go! Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Oh my god, are we actually gonna murder someone? Rose, let's go! I can't believe that actually won. Short blade one-handed with a four to four. Speed of 200. What's our current weapon do? Seven to 11, speed of 200. Okay, so ours is better. We'll take it for the money though. Uh, A slave key. Common shirt, common pants. Light boots. It's better than the shoes that we're wearing. So I'll put those on. Everything else, just dispose of corpse. In this game, when you dispose of a corpse, you take all of the stuff anyways, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see? So, worth it. Rude, I know. What? Are you agreeing? Are you calling me rude? I didn't do anything. I think there's supposed to be a way to cook food, too. Do I have any... Rat meat? I'm assuming this is raw? Is it cooking? Hold on. Uh, can we close this? How do we close it? There we go. So I want to take the rat meat. I don't think this is working. <laughs> I'm not positive, but... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. So, I'll ignore the cooking food thing for now. Old gate. Uh, spoopy. How did you feast in what? You should not have seen me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do we have a block? No, we don't have a way to block, do we? What just happened? Oh, there was like a mage or something that came up behind us. Freaking rude. Um, I guess it would be the autosave, right? For when we slept. Okay, so not going through the caves yet. <laughs> Obviously not prepared for it. We need to kill some small creatures, which I think is all the more reason to maybe travel to Balmora the long way so that we can kill some stuff and whatnot and, you know, get some levels, some practice with our with our sword. Uh, which spell do we have equipped? Beggar's Nose, good what we want. Kill the mud crab! All mud crabs must die. Let's go. I'll take that crab meat, please. Delicious, delicious raw crab meat. Doesn't come up as raw, though. I'm so confused by how this cooking mod works. Like I said before, if it, if the cooking and drinking, or eating and drinking thing doesn't work out for us, we'll just kind of ignore it. But I'm hoping these mods work okay. They seem like they should. But I was expecting it to have, like, some sort of pop-up or some way to tell how hungry you were or something. And it mentions food needing to be cooked, but not much beyond that. Also, just for my own curiosity, I'm going to quick save real quick. And then, just because I'm curious. Options. Because the game seems easier now than it did before. Whenever we are playing on proper Morrowind, it shouldn't be. But it does seem a little bit easier. I'm just curious. How bad is this mud crab now? Not really. So I think we are just going to jump straight into hard mode. I mean, you know, we are just fighting mud crabs, but that was kind of always the point of the game, right? To play on hard mode. And from what I've read online, eventually you become so OP it doesn't really matter anyways. It just might take us longer to get to that point. We might have to be more careful in the meantime. Jump everywhere, man. 
Oh. Did we fall? What was that? I couldn't move. <laughs> that was so weird. Thought you meant the point of the game is fighting. Isn't that the point of the game? Like, wait, do you play Morrowind for some other reason than to just fight mud crabs? Also, I noticed my microphone is peaking a little bit, so I'm going to turn it down a bit. Ghost Recon logic. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, man. That game annoyed the shit out of me. Like, if it just worked... I don't think I would have hated it. Like, I think it would have been okay, right? Not necessarily my salad game, but I could get behind it. But it was just fucking broken, man. Like, it was so bad. Nurn Root. I haven't actually seen any Nurn Root. There is Nurn Root in Morrowind, right? Now, I remember before that we just got absolutely murdered in here, but... We can take a nice little nappy nap. Apparently until the middle of the night. Holy shit, man. The sky looks pretty. Is it just me or does the sky look better in this game than it does in Skyrim? It looks more fake. Don't get me wrong. But like, bruh. Anyways. I had some fun. Holy shit. We got one shot. <laughs> Just one chop and we were fucking done. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So that answers that question. Random small creatures. That's fine. Humans? Fuck no, dude. They will murder us and murder us quickly. Without a moment's notice. That's no mud crab. <laughs> you can see where I made the mistake, though, right? He looked like a big mud crab. How was I supposed to know? What the fuck? Oh, that was me. I thought the rat made that fucking growling noise, dude. I was very confused. This rat is about to fucking take us out, though. <laughs> Please kill the rat before it kills us. <laughs> God damn, dude. Okay. I think we need... <laughs> to take a proper nap here soon. I was so scared we were going to take fall damage there. Difficulty 100 might be a little much, but we're sticking to it. Wait, is that a Silk Strider? Is that... Is that the town we just came from? No. Oh, that's Balmora. It's got to be Balmora. So we could take a shortcut just by... Bruh, are you for real right now? Like, it's right there? I mean, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna take the long way around, because I know there's that one cool place that we can loot up here. Yeah, why is it like Balmora this way when, as far as I can tell, that's it right there. At the edge of the river. Like, dude, just go there. I want to fight the mud crab. I'm going to fight the mud crab. If we die, we die. Come on, mud crab. Oh, God. One hit for one hit. Come on. Just got to... Yeah, there you go, dude. Just got to juke him. Okay. Want to make it to this town up here. So that we can... Uh... Well, I was going to say take a nap, but I guess it's illegal to nap in town. So we either have to nap right outside of town or see if they have a bed for sale. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from just sleeping on the ground anywhere there's not monsters, of course, but... I would rather sleep in a bed when possible. I think we're gonna leave that mud crab alone. I might go explore that ship, though, after we heal up a bit. Now, does the food, like... Take one more crab meat. Crab meat has no effect. Hmm. What about bread? 
Bread has no effect. Nothing has any effect. <laughs> I was hoping it would at least give us a little bit of health or something. But I guess not. Now, does this even count My as a time town? Is precious, so make it quick. What's your destination? From Hla Ode, I can take you to Ebonheart, Narmok, or the foreign quarter of Avec on my ship Harpy. How much do you charge? Honestly, seems reasonable. I'm not going to do it, though. Tell me about Hla Ode. This is just a little fishing village on the Bitter Coast. A rough track along the river Odai connects Hla Ode with the town of Balmora across the hills to the northeast. You can get a ship to Narmok or Ebonheart. Otherwise, it's a very long and unpleasant walk along the south coast to Sejanin, or much longer, more unpleasant walk north to nowhere. Uh, you're a shipmaster. Anything cool going on? It was inevitable. The local criminal organization, the Kamona Tong, wasn't going to stand by and let the Thieves' Guild set up shop in their territory. It'll be bloody. The Thieves' Guild doesn't stand a chance. You sure, though? Steal from thieves. Perfectly legal. Outlaws got no rights, and they'll, and they'll none of them be missed. You're a big hero if you bag a few thieves and you end up with their stuff. Slick, eh? Of course, it's dangerous, but you can't get ahead without taking some risks. Fair enough. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And nothing really in town. Okay. Can I sleep in this town? No. Not legally, at least. Do you have a bed? Let's hear it. Bruh. <laughs> That's why I quick saved before I came in the house. It seems like it's just random ass houses. It's I weird. Listen, Outlander, but make it quick. I might know what the problem is. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to fucking quit the game. <laughs> I might be able to fix that, though, at some point. There is a, uh... So it must be one or two of the mods that I'm using that mess with meshes. It's the only thing I can think of. At least it doesn't seem like anywhere important, but... Hold on. Data files. Cooking and eating. Tamriel data. Uh, da -da -da -da. My load order's probably all fucked up too, man, to be honest with you. Morrowind load. Uh, tool. Is there a tool to auto sort it? Oh, does the loot work for it? Do I have loot? I had it before. I don't know if I still do or not, though. I do. Loot. It's probably crazy out of date. I haven't done any, like, Bethesda game uh, modding in a long time, dude. But uh, how do I... Cancel. Uh... You know what? Just download the new version. Save. Open more wind. Review tab. Loot. Uh, sure. Next. Launch. Okay. Um. Game. Edit groups. What? 
How do I change game? Hmm. Oh. I think it's because it's only finding whatchamacallit Fallout 4 from like settings. Can I Morrowind install path browse The game. Store boy. Games. Miscellaneous. Morrowind. Open Morrowind. Select Hope. Save. Doesn't seem to have worked. Do I need to point it to the master list? Or to the mods? Maybe. Browse. Data. Select folder. Save. Hmm. So, at new game. Base game. Morrowind. Name. Open Morrowind. Uh, browse, select folder, save. It's like not letting me change the game. Refresh. Hmm. Uh, whatever. Done trying. Uh, let's play the game. So I might know what the problem is. I probably installed something out of order or something. And there are... There's one mod I can think of in particular. It's called, like, Night Glow or something. I forget the exact name of it. But that changes the meshes for a lot of the buildings. Um, to make them look prettier at night. And I'm wondering if something about that fucked up the interiors of these buildings. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Because we tried both of those, they were both broke. What about you? You're also broke. Like, I would Speak like to be able to me. talk to some of these people, though, is the annoying part. I didn't mean to quit the game. Why do I keep doing that? Load the game again. There it goes. Ooh. Was this flag here last time? I don't remember seeing it. Oh. Weird. This time we landed in water. Wait, what is that? We out of bounds, boys! <laughs> what is... Oh, okay. Now I'm just curious what this is over here. Whatever happens here, this isn't this isn't legit, but like the interior of that building must just be placed close to whatever the this is. Can we go in it? I hope this isn't some like end game dungeon or something. Who are you? Our athletic skills are going going up. I feel like y'all probably aren't friendly though. Ah oh, man, I must not be able to get in. There must be solid collision here. So I can't go in. That's lame. 
And you just enable no clip. Actually, that's probably something I could do, huh? What is it? Like, uh... Enable... Or TGM? Toggle God Mode? Doesn't that let you... No, that's just God Mode. Okay. So no, TGM. Turn that off. Um, is it no clip? No. Is it... No clip? Two words? No. Clip? Hmm. TLC. TCL. Hey! There it goes! Hello, I'm just curious. Who are you people? Wait, seriously, who are you people? Speak, traveler. Oh, that's why it's like right there. There's an entrance from here that goes over to there. That makes sense. Too bad there's no collision here for <laughs> this place, like, at all. We just turn on collision again. Go ahead, mm. stranger. Time is it? One thirty. Well, okay. None of this stuff here was all that important, anyways. So we'll continue on from here. Uh, I think something might be a little broken. Yeah, okay, so it is definitely, I think it's definitely related to the one mod. The problem is, I think the meshes got overrode by... Like, even if I disable it, I don't think it'll fix it. Um... Or even if I disable it. Because they would have been overridden by the other ones. Uh, what was it called? It was a recommended mod, but maybe... I don't know. ER. That wouldn't be any of that stuff. Cooking and eating, expansion delay, Cyrodiil. Is it this one? That's for Raven Rock. Yes. Adds windows and stuff. Okay, so what happens if I just turn it off? Play. So I turned off a couple mods that may have been causing the problems. Load. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that did not fix it. What if we also turn off... Where is it? The one that adds windows glowing. Uh, da, da, da. I don't think this will fix it because you have to add new meshes anyways with this stuff. So I think it's going to be broken either way. I'm just going to have to go back through the mods, reinstall everything from scratch. Oh, no, wait. Hey, okay. So it was just that one. Cool. Okay. So close again. And then can I re-enable these ones and then just leave off the ones that make windows glow 
So I guess maybe the mesh itself wasn't broken. It was just like it was trying to load that script or something first. And it couldn't. And that's what was breaking it. Hey, look at that. Um, okay, well, I didn't really have anything I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> I was just looking for a bed. That's what I was doing because it's getting late. Razid. Well, Outlander, somehow you've ended up on Vla Ode. You look like an adventurer exploring the Bitter Coast region. Not that it's any of my business. Is there any specific place you're hunting for? Any little secrets you'd like to share with me? Uh, no, but do you have advice? I have heard people refer to the Bitter Coast as the Smuggler's Coast. There's a reason for that. A lot of islands and coastline with plenty of caves and hidey holes. A few people around. Perfect for men with boats who want to keep their business private. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you happen to have a bed, though? Just hanging around here anywhere that you don't mind sharing. Uh, da, da, da. What do you got? In, what, do you, what can you tell me about Morwen? <laughs> Morwen was a great nation when the Empire was a bunch of savages running around in skins with clamshells tied to sticks. And Morrowind is still a great nation, and the Dunmer a great people. Some of the dialogue in this game is just weird, dude. <laughs> like, not bad, just weird. What's an Outlander? An Outlander is anyone born and raised outside of Morrowind. You and the Kimona Tong doesn't like Outlanders. Thanks for asking. Okay. A uh, little secret. So you think House Lalu is just an Imperial puppet? Shows what you know. Who really runs House Hulalu? Not the House Council. Those posers do what Orvis Dren tell them. Orvis Dren is the Kimona Tong kingpin. And one day, when the time is right, Orvis Dren, the Kamen Tong, and all right-thinking Dummer will rise up, murder you outlanders in your beds, and restore Morwen to its ancient glory. I don't think he likes uh, the, the outlanders, dude. He's the Duke of Vedum Dren, an important businessman. What's Kimona Tong? Uh, okay. Make it quick, Outlander. Yeah, so you don't like us. Got it. Interested in doing some business? What kind of business? Tell you what, I've got to deliver this slave to Avrar Hellas and Balmora as part of a payment. It shouldn't be a tough job for you. Uh, no. What do you want? <laughs> I don't... I don't think I, I want to deliver the slave. Let's make it quick. Tell you what, though. Can I just read a book, or is that considered bad? For science, I'm going to do a quick save and click on it. Security skill is increased to six. Just because I don't know, is it okay to read books? It seems like it. Okay. What do you want? Words for you. Uh, okay. Yeah, deliver the slave. The art of quick saving, right? I mean, I don't want to, like, use the quick save for cheese at all. I want death to have real consequences. But in situations like that, because I'm just new to the game of Morrowind, you know, I just want to make sure that it's safe to just read books and things. Um, but yeah. But okay, I'll deliver the slave. Uh, he's in the east side of town. Okay, so now is the slave going to follow me? Yes. So what I'm hoping, the only reason I agreed to this quest is because I'm hoping what we can actually do is leave here and then just free them. Um, What services? Nothing, 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 nothing. What kind of advice do you got? If you're heading into the back country, always carry a couple of restore health, fatigue, cure disease, and cure blight potions with you. What's this about? That's actually a good idea, but uh, I don't have any. Can we nap down here? It's illegal. I feel like there's not too many cops coming down here, though, but what do I know? Uh, dude, you are on my face. Okay. too frightened to talk to you. I'm literally like, I want to free you. Is there any way I can do that? What's this then? 
a net herder. Mm. I mean, it's a small-ass town. I guess it makes sense that they might not have a bed that I can rest in. Did the Khajiit, Khajiit just hiss at me? Is there any way I can, like, yes, friend. be kind to you? To make you not hate me? That's unusual. Yes, friend. Officer of the Imperial Law. Don't steal, don't brawl, or start fights. Don't kill, except in self-defense. If you're caught, guards will let you choose your punishment. Fines are hard labor. What do you know about Orvis Dren? He's the brother of Duke Venom Dren and a very wealthy and influential man. He has a net ranch in the Ascadian Isles. Okay. Uh, is this far enough out of town to make camp? Nope. Is this far enough out of town to make camp? Nope. <laughs> Seems a little, uh, arbitrary. <laughs> where you can make camp and where you can't. Wait, is the slave fighting for me? I don't want the slave to die. Okay. Hey, okay. Let's rest until the morning. Rest. Why are you... Persuasion? I can't do anything with you, can I? Damn, I really did want to just let you go free. Uh, I mean, we just uh, saved. Come on, then. Say something or move on. Murderous outlaws. Refuse. Uh, I will bathe so in your blood. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, yep. Humanoids are still a no. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Uh, rest. Uh. Oh, if we rest in the wild, our... Okay, that makes sense. It can be interrupted. Is there, like, a storm going on right now or something? It looks weird out here. Rest a little longer until morn. There we go. Might as well use whatever magic we have sometimes so we can uh, get the effects of it. Ooh, there we go. Hunger and thirst. Okay. I wish that was, like, a little bit larger of an indicator, but we are a little bit hungry and a little bit thirsty. So if I eat bread... I mean, it does make sense to have some breakfast, right? We just got up. Did that do anything for us? Water flask. Maybe it doesn't update. Okay, yeah, it didn't update instantly. But it did get rid of it. Now, it didn't, however, give us, like, the well-fed bonus or anything. Which is fair, I guess. I probably shouldn't, but I want to know what's what that is. <laughs> Somehow I missed it when we came through here last time. And now I'm just really curious, like... While I have this slave to help defend me... <laughs> That won't just leave. Dude, you're free. You're clear. Nobody's around. You can go free, man. I will totally let you go. I do not mind one bit. But what is this place? It looks cool. I'm a little worried about... Mobs of any sort. Is this a Daedric Shrine? Is that a door? No, that's just a weird-looking wall. What are these runes? Muzgonk grow boar bog. Don't know you. What do you want? I don't know you either. Who are you? 
your warrior. At first, it seemed the fuss about the Nerevarine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that the Dumber have been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the temple goes out, hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? Hmm. Miles Glorosius. Gloriousus. At the Andish Trade House, Amar Gon is on a crusade to kill off all the monsters sneaking through the ghost fence. Hmm. You're a warrior by trade? Cool. Okay. How does pickpocketing work in this game? What? Why? Why? What? Who are you? I wasn't... Bruh! Oh, no. I, I wasn't... I was just curious. It's my own slave. I should be allowed to pickpocket if I want. Oh, man. Well, okay. Now we know. Just attempting to pickpocket, even if you don't steal anything. Just attempting to pickpocket is enough to make them angry. That's fair enough. Oh, we're also uh, hungry and thirsty again. I was just curious how it worked. That's all. I didn't take anything. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know why food is under the magic category. I'm assuming because it can be used for alchemy in some way. That's fine. Uh, let's use... Did we use our spell? Yeah, we must have. So if we look on our map... Amora's like right there. We're almost there. It's like right over there. Somewhere. But also, I don't see any creatures. I was hoping to find some more small woodland creatures that we can murder. Oop. Loading. Drop a quick save in case of crashing. Hmm, not even a mud crab, dude. Is it just too early? Are they all sleeping? It is eerily empty. There's something. But I can murder you for sure. Our skill with a blade is like 31. I guess what we probably need to build up is our skill with... With, uh... Not with a blade, but with, with armor. And also just getting more armor, because we're not fully armored, even. Scrib. Nothing. Empty scrib. That's the building I was looking for, though. There should be some goodies in it. In one side. The other side will die if we go in, but... There is the one side we should be able to, to get some free loot from. I don't know what getting our acrobatic skill up really does for us, but I feel like raising it's got to be a good thing, right? So just out of curiosity, if we click this, does it open anything? No. Hmm. No, if we... My mouse glitched out there for a second. No, if we click this, oh, if we get this menu. Still level one. I wonder how much do we have to raise our skills to go up a level? I'm assuming our level is just based off of like all of our combined skills. Iron Halberd. Mm. Restore luck. Restore willpower, intelligence. Some cool stuff. Some meat. An egg? I like eggs. Eggs are good. Iron club. A blunt weapon. No. I don't think we're going to use that. Heavy armor, but 
right now at least, any armor is better than no armor. So we'll take it. And a right bracer. Nice. Can we wear pants and a robe? We can. Uh, we can also wear a ring just for the hell of it. We'll take the club to sell. Mm. Yeah, no, that would override that, I'm sure. And left cauldron. Isn't that what we're wearing? Yeah. Has the same rating. And just to check, yeah, that overrides that. And we do want to be either medium or light armor, because that's what our character is skilled with. We are over-encumbered to the point of not even being able to move. Scroll of Unhinging. Uh, okay, this is the first time we've been over-encumbered. What is taking up all of our weight? Probably these, right? Yeah, I mean, they are heavy. <laughs> 30 each. But they're also fairly valuable. Weight 15, value 24. Man, I miss in Skyrim, like with Sky UI, having the ability to just get a quick, like, weight to value ratio. Oh, we completely skipped over Balmora last time where we were trying to go and went all the way to Caldera. Wow, we fucked up. <laughs> so what do we want to drop? I guess... Water jug. Wait, 10 for a water jug? God damn, dude. How do we increase our... Wait for value 100. Can we, like, sort the list? No. Okay, we don't need to carry the paper. We can we can just drop the paper. Just a little bit of weight back. This stuff weighs, like, next to nothing, and we don't have that much of it on us. Although, 0.2 times 30, <laughs> we should probably stop picking mushrooms. I'm not going to get rid of it. But we should probably stop picking it, too. Same with, like, crab meat and stuff, man. We have so much of it. Okay. Value 10. This is shit. Just get rid of it. Iron Maze. Value 24. Weight 15. 14. 40. We'll keep the Iron Halberd, then. We'll get rid of that. And then... 10, 24. Versus... 30, 70. 10, 24. So 24 times 3, 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so technically has a better weight to value ratio than these do. So just get rid of both of those. That gives us plenty of weight back. We learned not to try to jump between these things. <laughs> that ends badly for us. So I'm pretty sure. Are you Ashian? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Well, we didn't get any, like, armor really meant for us, but we got some armor nonetheless, so I will gladly take it. Okay, so Caldera. Or no, Balmora is where we're trying to go. Cast the magic. Just for practice with the magic skill. More. This away. I seem to remember a split in the road up here, and we went to the left, I think. I was probably confused on where we were meant to go or something, or I just missed it. I mean, that's a possibility as well. Can the slave die? Still too scared to talk to. Mm, fair. Come hither, small creature. I shall murder you for my own entertainment. 
and practice with my blade. Something I'm uh, supposedly already very proficient in, but I struggle to kill a small worm. We also learned not to go in these tombs or whatever the hell this is over here. Hey, short play to 32. Awesome. I will take it. Thank you. A level up, that is. Or, well, skill round level up. It's not a real level up. Best I can remember, those guys aren't mean. They're, they're indifferent to us. And I also remember them beating the shit out of us. So I'm going to I'm going to ignore them for now. Vaguely follow this road to Bomboro. It's going to be really cool when we finally got good enough gear and stuff that we can actually explore some of these random places on the side of the road. It is much more realistic, though, right? Like, as an inexperienced fighter, I can't just go take on people that have been bandits for their entire lives or whatever without getting the shit kicked out of me. Good lord, the cat acts like it's a crime to shut a door. You know she doesn't like being shut out of anywhere. It's one of the worst things you can do to that poor kitten. You for your service and letting me hit you with my sword over and over again. <laughs> or no, it was, these were the guys that we need to just kind of leave alone. <laughs> what are you called again? War. I wonder if I can climb that hill. Gotta remember, this isn't Skyrim. can't just climb any hill you see by jumping enough. You want it nice and toasty in there for your shot? I don't blame you for shutting the door. You should just know by now to expect her to be extremely offended by the thought of it. Oh, as far as the Tamriel rebuilt stuff goes, by the way, I don't know how much like outside of the main game we'll be exploring. But I still thought it was cool to have all that stuff in here in case we decided we wanted to go there and do anything. But my main goal for the game is, well, of course, beating the main quest line. Um, but also just exploring Vardenfell. Odera Balmora. Yeah, so where did we go last time? Did we go up the hill or did we go... I thought we went that way, but... Now I'm not so sure. Band Egg Mine. I seem to remember there being mean people in here. Oh no, it was these things. Right. I remember those things. What time is it? 12 p.m. It's way too late to go back to sleep. I can't justify going to sleep, and we're only saving when we sleep, so... Yeah, I think that's enough mushrooms. So not going to try fighting them, because we'll probably get the shit kicked out of us again. How close are we to Balmoro? Okay, yeah, so we go... If we take the road, we go through Caldera and move around. But we could have just followed the river and gotten here much quicker, man. It's surprising how close the two cities actually are to each other. Say, 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 da, mean, or whatever the fuck it was. And Balmora? You wouldn't know it by following the road, Don. It's honestly surprising to me that they didn't just build a road that follows the river, like, as a shortcut. You know? Like, it seems like a pretty obvious choice. No. <laughs> Every mine is a bad time for us. We're just staying out of these random-ass 
caves on the side of the road, man, for a little while. Odera Mining Company. Um, isn't that also vaguely the direction I want to go, though? It is. Hey, Soltis, thank, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for the raid, man. I don't know if this actually leads to Balmora or not. Or if it just leads to wherever the mining stuff is. I'm assuming we have to go through town, but maybe this is like a shortcut or something. Get us there a little bit quicker. Hello, hello to you, my guy. Scathe the Craw? Scathe the Craw. Don't know what that is, but cool. Trevor Project? Yeah, I have been for, well, since Twitch gave me the option, honestly. Um, I just think it's a great cause. So why the hell not, you know? Hydrate! You got it, my guy. Yeah, it has been a little while, hasn't it? This isn't going to lead to Balmora? I kind of thought as much, but... Oh, and the stream might be going down. Oh, God. Why now of all times? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it seems to be dead for me as well. But my internet is working, so it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> Hello to you! I can't... <laughs> Hello to you as well. Sadly... Oh, wait, is it back? I think it's... Oh, nope. It started to come back for a second. Damn it, Twitch. Sadly, the Twitch server seems to be having some problems all of a sudden. Is it gonna come back? Rip it die. I know it came back for like a second and then it just died again. So it's not me. My internet's working fine. I know you can't hear me, but uh, da, 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 da. Well, oh, okay. It's coming back. Is it going to stay back? That's the question. Maybe. Fingers crossed. I think we might be okay. Okay, Twitch, knock it off. For real, though. <laughs> it's a really bad time for you to mess up, Twitch. Let the stream say, for real, man. We finally have a, uh, a Morrowind stream that's more or less working. After the, the snafu with the... The first stream of prob or not the first stream. The first stream didn't go too poorly, but like the second stream, everything broke. Having to switch to open more wind and whatnot. Finally, we had something going mo more or less smoothly. Hopefully, okay. Is it is it up though? Can you guys hear okay and everything? Reload the player for me on my end. It seems to be working, although the quality's kind of looking like shit. But like. At least on my my thing here, but that may just be on my end. We good? Okay, let's hop back into the game then. You're running open Morrowind? Yeah, I I originally wanted to do regular Morrowind specifically because I'm I'm playing with uh, I th I want to play through all of the major Bethesda games, right? Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout Three, uh, New Vegas, and Four. I know Bethesda didn't make New Vegas, but whatever. Um, but with like a little bit more hardcore survival type of stuff so i installed a survival mod that only works on the original um morrowind not on open morrowind that i really like and ashfall exactly yeah 
And uh, it was all going smoothly the first time we played, but then when I loaded the save the second time, everything kept breaking. Like, for the second stream, everything. So I switched to Open More Wind. I don't have the same kind of survival mods. Not as good of ones. I do have ones that still require you to eat and drink. Um, not nearly as good as Ashfall, though. Um, and then a couple of other stuff that I, I don't know if I'll be playing with... Uh, that I, if I'll really be messing with it or not. Because I have, like, Tamriel rebuilt and stuff installed as well. I don't know how much of that content I'll be getting into, though. But I did install it just for the hell of it. And then also some other things like limited saving, limited um, healing, stuff like that that I'm throwing in there. Like, you should call it OpenMW. You're a prolific Open Modder, Morrowind Modder? Really? I had no idea, dude. That's awesome. It's a predecessor and a bunch of mods by Racer Plume or something. Does all work on Open Morrowind? Probably shouldn't do TRPT, etc. in a first playthrough. Yeah, like I said, they're installed, but I don't know if I'm actually going to play them or not. Um, but they are here. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're installed, but I, I don't know if I'm going to mess with them at all or not. Uh, and then I saw earlier it's somewhere, yeah, you said something about Daggerfall. Way back in the day, before I started, because what I actually mostly stream these days are PS2 games. Um because I'm trying to collect and stream every North American PlayStation 2 game, at least trying them, not necessarily finishing every single one of them. I just don't have the time to try and do that. Uh, but anyways, but way back in the day, that actually was my plan. I, I currently have installed on my computer Arena and Daggerfall for that reason. Um, but I decided for this cut down version of what I was doing before, it might be a little bit too much. Like... If you're going for a harder core run, some of your Lua mods might be relevant. They do more dynamic combat, make running out of fatigue and water dangerous. Ooh. So you mean like if you're in water and you run out of uh, fatigue, do you just like sink or something like that? Is kind of what I'm, I'm assuming, but like more dangerous blight storms too. That might be a little too hardcore for my first time through, but like... <laughs> but uh... I'll definitely look into it. You can uh, whisper me a, a link to, like, I don't know if you use Nexus or a forum or whatever. Um, but, yeah. I'm really excited. Like, I was reading that Open Morrowind is expanding its Lua scripting capabilities. And I'm really excited for that to open up more so that you can have more of those uh, dynamic mods like what you're talking about. Daggerfall Unity is exceedingly playable in the same way Open Morrowind is. That's the version I... Well, actually, I think I have the original installed and that version. But I do have Daggerfall Unity installed. And I've been looking at... Uh, is it Arena that some guy is completely rewriting the engine for? Kind of like Open Morrowind. But he's been like doing it by himself for, for a long time. Um, I think it might be Arena. But anyways, I've been following that project for a while as well. And it, it looks really cool, but it's not in like a playable state yet last i looked oh you start taking damage that makes sense that makes sense you're not on nexus you're on open mw oh shit ah oh god i put my sword away no 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 wait what oh you are on nexus okay okay <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That was a typo. Understood. If you search for Solthus, you'll find me. Okay. I will actually, because I'll definitely forget my memory's terrible. Let me open up Nexus now. Nexus and search for you so I can have it. So I can have it up. There we go. God, the blight weather pack. <laughs> yeah, I will look into them. Yeah, I saw that it... Oh, shit, it did. Uh... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't think it's an alt-tabbing problem. You guys can't hear me, though. Oh, wait, wait. It's coming back. You might be able to hear me again. I don't think it's an alt-tabbing problem, because I didn't alt-tab the first time that it happened until it happened. Um, but, yeah. 
You know that mod? You saw it on Morrowin Modding Showcase? That's you? That's awesome, man. Oh, for the love of Pete. <laughs> oh. I'm actually streaming on a Canadian server, though, because I used to have problems with Twitch servers fairly consistently. Seems like basically every Wednesday-ish is when it was the worst for one way or another. Um, so I switched to a Canadian one. I've had good luck since then until today, <laughs> until right now. And now all of a sudden it's uh, screwing with me. Like, if you're going for a harder core playthrough, you'll be interested in second chances, which gives the game a Dark Souls style respawn system, which is awesome. For my first playthrough, I want to go mostly vanilla. Um, but what I was going to expand on earlier is that I do plan on, if I decide to continue playing all of the games after I, I beat them, I want to do uh, permadeath runs, and in those ones, I'm very interested in adding more dynamic stuff and maybe some small gameplay change ga changes and stuff like that outside of the quote-unquote survival aspects. All right, so we're supposed to deliver the slave to somewhere. I wanted to free them, but they won't talk to me at all for one reason or another. Yep. There it goes, it died again, and I didn't even alt-tab. <laughs> oh my god. Right? <laughs> Bruh. Twitch, why are you like this, man? <laughs> we finally got a decent stream going of Morrowind, and then Twitch dies. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, again, y'all can't hear me, but it's not even me. It's, it's just, it's Twitch. It's not me. My internet's fine. I don't know why it keeps dying. Oh, thank you, love. I didn't expect you to bring up all this stuff right now. Yeah, but I didn't expect you to bring it up. Thank you, though. Doo -doo -doo. Let me double check. Speed test. Let me just double check that all my stuff is running fine. Yep, I have an acceptable, well not great, but acceptable download rate. Switch to upload, come on. My upload is more than fast enough. <laughs> I have, right now, with Twitch streaming, I have a 17 megabit upload. I'm, I only stream, of course, at 6 megabits. So yeah, it's definitely not me. It's something going on with the with the Twitch servers, sadly. <sighs> There's companion mods for Blood Moon and Tribunal, which make it so sewer goblins are not stronger than gods due to weird design decisions. What? <laughs> Bruh, you're blowing my mind right now. I'm relatively new to Morrowind. I've only played a tiny bit of it before. So, <laughs> that just makes Sewer Goblins sound very scary. <laughs> Stronger than gods? My god, dude. If you want a mostly vanilla playthrough, you won't be interested in most of my mods. Like, mostly vanilla. I am going to look into them here. Like, don't get me wrong. I have your page up. I'm going to look into them and see if any of them um, would fit with what I'm trying to do right now. Like I said, if not for this one, then if I decide to do those permadeath runs in the future... I'll look into throwing them in that one, because, like, yeah. Hopefully I would like to mod Morrowind the way you do. You love open Morrowind. Yeah, that's actually something I want to look into as well, because I'm considering making my own um, survival mod. I don't have much Lua scripting experience, but I did actually go to school to be a software engineer. I make a really shitty game about every month <laughs> and put out there for, for subscribers to the channel. And, uh, yeah, I... I yeah. <laughs> so, I've done some Lua stuff before, but uh, only a tiny bit, so. I might join, I probably will join that Discord myself, to be honest. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe it's the U.S. government trying to control Twitch before that bill passed. Wait, what? Is there a bill I should know about? <laughs> What's going on? Is there a bill? Related to Twitch that the government's trying to pass? Sorry, Noodle is my girlfriend, by the way. She stops in chat every once in a while. Uh, brought me up a little bit of sorbet. Mm 
Mm -mm. Well, this is hardly a sorbet. It's a, it's more like a slush that just happens to have fruit in it. But yeah. Oh god, don't look at the schedule. I haven't updated the schedule in so long. It's probably messed up. Okay, everything seems to be solid, so I'm gonna hop back into the game and fingers crossed that it keeps going. Hasn't dropped out. OBS is reporting green, but like... Bunch of examples to work from. That's always good. Good to hear. Oh wait, we're not even in the right place to drop off the slave yet. We need to get to the, uh, to Balmora first. Um, there was, however, I remember a place that we could sleep here, and also, there's some shops, so maybe we can sell off some of our junk. Uh, da -da -da -da, barter, please. I would like to sell you iron left, you don't, uh, we probably need to go to the armorer for that, huh? Well, I don't really care about the extravagant robe, so... Wait, what's... Oh, or the extravagant shoes. That's fine. And the fur helm. Really? You don't buy that? Bruh. Okay. I mean, it's fur. I get that it's technically armor, but I thought it would still be sellable to you. Uh, I'm assuming you probably don't buy any of this other crap either. Okay. I will accept my 40 gold. Thank you. Um, I don't think my I have anything else to really talk to you about. Limited. Good to know. Mm, nah, we'll be fine. I was gonna look and see if maybe he had any armor, but with him being a clothier, probably not. Let's hear it. Twitch, me and the Automod have enough issues. Don't make it personal. Wait, what? Oh shit! Son of a bitch! <laughs> I didn't realize it went down again. <sighs> Bruh. Yes. This is annoying as shit. Not Twitch specifically, but the government bill that bans TikTok apparently has a lot of clause that would seriously restrict internet usage. So let's hope it doesn't pass from anyway. Oh, yeah, I didn't look that much into the bill. That's when I'll be able to really make patiently wait the day they decode combat and spells for the. I know, I'm so excited. Like I said before, you can't hear me, <laughs> I don't think. But if you do, I'm really excited for Open Morrowind opening more of their the engine to to Lua scripting. Um, super excited about that. But it contains like 13 of your mods. That's awesome, man. It's 2 a.m. there. Maybe it's bedtime. Regardless, we've caught up to where we were. Yeah. Oh shit! I think we're back, so I can just speak. I can just say it, but. Honestly, I wanted to do a bit of a longer stream tonight because, you know, I'm off tomorrow. We're just playing, uh, what are we playing tomorrow? Metal Gear Solid 3. We're playing, starting it up tomorrow on the PS2. So, like, yeah, I was, I was, other than that, like, I don't have anything planned for tomorrow. So, I was looking forward to maybe taking a little bit more time tonight. Um, and yeah, but I think we are probably just gonna have to call it here with the way that, whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit Twitch is acting. Because with it keep going down, like, it's just annoying, you know? Twitch does not agree. I agree that more when I've been having a ton of fun with it. I'm going to play more of it. Don't get me wrong. Like, uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to play more of it. I've been playing Morrowind every other Friday. And then with as much as I've been wanting to play it, I may stream it more on Tuesdays as well. Um, But every other Friday is the main time to stream it. I switch between that and Grounded. Uh, that I do co-op with my with my brother on Twitch. But Whisper You on Nexus, we'll chat mods if your survival list vanilla-ish <laughs> playstyle. Yeah. I'll send you I'll send you a uh, whisper. So I got you pulled up on Nexus so I don't forget um to do that. You're just in time to see Twitch hate stream. Yeah, it's not going so well. It's not going so well. <laughs> it's just a bad time. The spoon is so cold, it's like freezing my my tongue every time it touches it. But yeah, I hate to say it, but I think that is going to be it for tonight, guys. Um, thank you, David Haynes and uh, Solthus, for stopping into the stream and for the raid. I do really appreciate that. 
he said if you want to see more more wind every other friday i definitely stream it and uh possibly on tuesdays as well uh i have a discord if that's the sort of thing you're interested in and i usually announce whenever i do random streams and things like that um but if you don't want to join i totally get it i'm one of those people that doesn't like being in a million random discord servers But that's the best place to keep up with the shit I do. Oh, uh, when you try to post the link, links get blurred out because of the auto mod. Um, so it just sent a bunch of stars or uh, asterisks rather. You need to leave some yourself, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, links get hidden in chat, so you, you're going to have to whisper it or just, like, separate it out, you know? Like, if you were doing nexus.com or whatever, nexus uh, space spell out dot space com, and I think that'll go through, but clickable links don't go through unless it's a uh, a mod. <laughs> the auto mod have history? Yeah. <laughs> I've lessened the rules on the auto mod a lot. Because uh, the auto mod has been a real pain in the ass in the past. More the uh, Streamlabs one than the Twitch one. But like, my Discord? It's a small Discord, but if you want to join it, it's just uh, right there. That's the link. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you again, Noodle for bringing this up i appreciate it didn't you you've been here lol you delivered him a snack and drink she did she did do that well you were in the bath i don't think you're really paying that much attention to the stream i think that's why root was saying welcome back of course now that we're like winding down the stream it seems like everything's actually working properly <laughs> like of course now that i say that it's probably going to die randomly again but Mm -mm -mm. Holy shit, it's cold. Hmm. All right, guys. Uh, thank you again, those of you that came and joined me tonight. I do appreciate it. I'm going to update my schedule because uh, <laughs> that's probably something I should have done forever ago on uh, on Twitch here. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I will announce on Discord if I do another one of these random streams some night. Uh, usually I stream PS2 games and then uh, split between some random game right now, Bethesda stuff, and something with my brother right now grounded on Fridays. You're welcome for the call. Thank you, Rue. <laughs> anyways guys thank you again for the last time like i said i can't uh, uh say how much i appreciate it but until next time have a wonderful night everyone and as always be kind to each other bye bye y'all <laughs> real professional i know luminite a mysterious stone that shines in the dark an ordinary stone that exists in the underworld has Hello, hello everyone, I'm back. <laughs>